friends to drink responsibly because friends know when to say when. A reminder from your friends at Budweiser here on date night in Philadelphia. Bill Cosby with a special gal next to him. If there are things happening in the world of sports in Philadelphia that are important, the cause is there. 76ers with a 20 to 8 run. The last seven minutes and 50 seconds to take this 10 point lead. And Mark Davis all over the floor. Second year player out of Texas Tech. He plays big, or at least he does against the Knicks in, in the third meeting now. The Knicks are noticing Mark Davis. He's had some fine moments. Charlie Ward almost with the steal. Patrick Ewing is back on the floor. Chris Childs being waved on. He'll replace Charlie Ward. So the Knicks with Ewing, Buck Williams, and Johnson up front. They have Childs and Houston in the backcourt. Here's that uh, hustle effort by Ward. Rex Walters. And Childs with the save, kept alive by Walters. Michael Cage passing up on a, uh, an outside shot. Took one at the end of the first quarter. Stackhouse. Shot clock at seven. Walters shooting. Rubber spoon. And the Sixers lead 37-25. Ewing claiming to the official that his teammate was pushed out of the way for that finish by Weatherspoon. Meanwhile, the Knicks, it appears to me, Marv, need Ewing on the floor every minute of this game, unless somebody steps up and starts to score regularly. Houston, that's the goal count, the basket will count. Allen Houston with 11 points. Right of that shot, the Knicks two for their previous 10. Very nice move by Allen Houston, accelerating and jumping rather high. No, no. Traveling violation. Derek Coleman getting set to check back in. And here he comes for Clarence Weatherspoon. Plays with four points, five rebounds. Five minutes gone by in the second quarter. And the Knicks trailing by 10 points. Childs on the penetration. Rebound Buck Williams. It counts, and he's fouled. The top shot, he banked it home as he was feeling the contact. Boy, that was an all-star rebound by Buck Williams. Over traffic, not in traffic, over traffic, and then into the traffic to finish the play. Chris Childs with a nice drive. You can see Buck coming in over people to get that rebound, and he takes it right to the hoop. Super basket. Foul committed by Michael Cage, and Cage sits down. Scott Williams back on. Three-point play for Buck Williams. 76ers lead by seven. With Iverson on the bench now, the Knicks have got to do the best they can to get even in this game at least. The spinning move by Stackhouse, and he stepped out of bounds. And here comes Iverson. So Allen Iverson is back, replacing Rex Walters. Walters leads with five points, and that substitution is now being waved off. Next dead ball, Iverson will appear. The Knicks with a record of 16 and 7, a game behind first place Miami in the Atlantic Division. They had the seven-game win streak stop in that pounding by the Pistons the other night. Shot clock is down to two. Child fires the three. And here comes Davis. He takes all the way. Mark Davis right down the middle of the floor. That was a classic three on two with the Sixers having the three, and they couldn't stop Davis. And his jumping ability took him right to the rim. Mark Davis, eight minutes, has accounted for four points and five rebounds. The Knicks are down by nine. Stackhouse changed his mind on the three, and is called for the offensive foul. Good play by Child to draw Stackhouse to him. And now Iverson checks in. It would be... 
helpful for Ewing. And we'll take another look now at Stackhouse on the move, committing the foul for Ewing to start going to the basket because there's just no rebounding until he missed those fadeaway jump shots. Come on, come on. And Ewing that time had a wide open situation. Uh, Scott Williams claiming that the Ewing shoved him aside. Scott Williams is doing a terrific job if he gets Ewing to take a jump shot. But when Patrick goes to the hoop, forget about it. 20 second timeout taken by 76er coach Johnny Davis. The Sixers now lead the next 39-32 with 5.21 remaining in this first half. Now they've changed to a full timeout as you take another look at uh, Ewing. Putting it down for Ewing. 11 points. Multimedia Sports and Orion Home Video present Pinstripe Destiny, the story of the 1996 World Champions, a 60-minute sports documentary giving you a chance to relive the incredible highlight, highlights and stories from the New York Yankees 1996 World Championship season. To order for 1995 plus shipping and handling, call 1-800-225-2377. 76ers lead the next 39-32. <laughs> Five minutes remaining in the first half. Childs in Houston now at the guard with Ewing, Johnson, and Buck Williams up front. Childs being played by Iverson. Ewing wants that ball to go to the corner to Childs so he could get a shot. In the meantime, Allen Houston shows the touch. Allen Houston with 14 points, four of five from downtown. So the Knicks now trail by four. Here's Childs. And it's an offensive foul. Oh, is he upset? Is he upset? For Chris Childs, his third personal. And he'll pick up a tee. He better move away. Well, he knows it's going to happen. But he also knew he was going to the bench, and that's why I think he continued, Marv, you know? guided aside by Patrick Ewing and, and Alan Houston. He's very fortunate that uh, a technical, well, apparently it was. A, a technical was called, and uh, Derek Coleman will shoot the team. He fouled out last time here in Philadelphia. He's off to a good start tonight. And the frustration just overcame him. Now, Ch Giles reads this call by the official is unfair to him because he felt the defender was under the basket too close to the basket and he was entitled to that space in front of the basket that's what his argument was the childs sitting down with his third charlie ward is back and iverson got the step and then took a shot but williams Helping out as uh, Iverson was able to make the move around Ward and uh, Buck committed the foul. Buck Williams inflicting some pain. Another look at Giles' move a moment ago. Coming down, getting a clear path to the basket and in the air. And uh, I, I can see his, his point. Back live, Iverson missing a 20-foot jump shot. The Knicks trail by five, coming up on four minutes remaining in this first half. Larry Johnson. Johnny Ward. And it's only 40% from the field. And back comes Ward. It's at five on three. Ewing jumps it on the follow. So the Sixers now lead 40-37. Philadelphia has led by as many as 12, and the Knicks now within three. Pass play broken up. And Ward hit from behind. Knicks getting some motion out here because of their tenacity, deflecting of that basketball around.